In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for B3+, plus, the boron ion. But before we do that, let's write the Lewis structure just for boron, regular boron, as it's found on the periodic table. So on the periodic table, boron, B, it's neutral. It doesn't have a plus or minus charge. That means the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons, and we don't write a plus or minus. So for just boron, in that outer shell, the highest energy level, we have one, two, three, valence electrons. So we could write those three valence electrons in the highest energy level just like this. One, two, three. And that would be the Lewis structure for boron. We also know that boron has three valence electrons in its outer shell because it's in group 13, sometimes called 3a, on the periodic table. So there's boron, but we're interested in B3+, plus, the boron ion. So let's draw the Lewis structure for B3+. Plus. So we start with regular boron, and that three plus, whenever you have a plus sign, that means you've lost an electron. Think of it this way. Electrons are negative. When you lose a negative, you become more positive. So boron, B3 plus, has lost three electrons. So let's take those three electrons away. And then in our representation here, we should take these three electrons away as well. And then we write three plus, and that's a reasonable Lewis structure for B3 plus. We should also get rid of this highest energy level here because there's nothing in it. So you'll notice something interesting. When we have B3+, plus, we've lost the three electrons here in this highest energy level. And then underneath, we still have valence electrons. We have two. And for boron, for this first energy level, it only holds two. So by losing these three electrons, boron now has a full outer shell, and that's very stable. So that's why boron loses the three electrons to bond with other elements. One last thing, you'll sometimes see brackets around the B, although not all the time. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for B3 plus the boron ion, and thanks for watching.